Baptist Church, my name is Lynn, and I'm excited to be getting baptized on such a special day, Easter. I want to tell you a little about my testimony. I was raised in a Christian home full of unconditional love and guidance from my two wonderful parents. I welcomed Jesus into my heart when I was 11 years old. I was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit at First Baptist Church of Camarillo in California. I think several things culminated to lead me away from God, but the biggest event was the death of my brother Adam. My family lost him to suicide when I was 15. I was very angry at God. My brother was a faithful Christian. The last thing he did before he died was write out his personal testimony to his English teacher for a homework assignment. How could God ignore him in his suffering? By age 20, I called myself an agnostic, which to me meant I just didn't care. A few years later, I was denying God completely as an atheist. I look back at these godless years of my life and see a hollow, desperately lost person trying to find goodness and peace in an increasingly disturbed world. I can also look back and see all the people who planted seeds along the way. My mom, who created a firm foundation of faith and continues to set an example I am ever grateful for. My husband, who recommended Temple Baptist to me. My youth pastor and my youth group family, who I know have never forgotten especially Ray and Glenna Buford, who are still cheering me on. My friend Leslie, who invited me to church for probably eight months before I finally went. And a random group of strangers who approached me in the grocery store and prayed for me and my then infant son. Finally, this girl named Dolores in San Diego, who invited me to church and told me, I hope you come back. Isn't it funny the tiniest things people say that stick with you? I may never be able to thank some of the people who have planted seeds in my life, but I wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. So keep planting seeds, invite people to church. Don't be afraid to be excited about your faith. You may not get to see the roots, sprouts, or blossoms, but without that seed you plant, there can never be a rose. Pastor West said in a recent sermon that the world today says, you can't be intellectual and Christian. I have experienced that prejudice firsthand, but I have a master's degree in science, and I'm telling you with absolute certainty that Jesus was a real person who loved all of humanity with a love only God can bestow. Jesus came here to show us how to love, to forgive us of our wrongdoings and free us from our burdens. It is a great privilege to be able to say that. And it's an honor to be getting baptized today, the 19 year anniversary of laying Adam's ashes in the ground. My mom recently wrote to me, God is the same yesterday, today and forever. You can be sure of his love. I think when I finally let go of my misconceptions of who God is and how He operates, it came down to love. Ephesians 3.19 says, May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Did you hear that? It's too great! I'm going to stop trying to understand my own way and just let His love work through me. Praise the Lord. Christ is risen today. Enjoy your Easter. The death itself.